much garbage do we make? There you are. She comes in as soon as I'm done. Hey. She's getting pretty slick. She is very smart. <sighs> There we go. Well, good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And today I have Tino coming in in just a little while. And Daryl Jr. has been texting me and messaging me all week long. He really wanted to come back in. So I'm gonna pick him back up. And I didn't really have like something specific to do, like a project, uh, but I know that Daryl Jr. absolutely loves shopping. And one of the things that we need to get done before spring is we need to organize uh, the shed. I don't know what to call the concrete shed. Uh, so the concrete shed, you guys know I put the shelves in it. I never really stocked it yet. So today um, I'm gonna think through what we're gonna need, what would be best to keep on those shelves and pick up a whole bunch of stuff, stock the shelves, kind of clean in there, get it all organized. I have a new TV. I bought a bracket yesterday from Best Buy. So we're gonna hang the new TV for the security cameras and kind of get that clean and organized in there. So that's the plan for today. Uh, I'm gonna go get a little workout in and then I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. The weather is so nice. We hardly had any winter in Wisconsin. Just crazy. Nate the Great's supposed to show up this morning and work on the form truck and get that thing started for us so we can get that to the winter shop so he can do all the, the maintenance on it. And then I have stuff to do to it as well to get that ready for the season. We still have time, but I don't want to wait too long either. All right, I just pulled up to the gym. I have a little bit of time. I have a good like 30 minutes, 35 minutes this morning. So that's long enough for me. Workout was good. My legs, I got that little wobbly feeling in my legs right now because I did really heavy leg press and then I jumped rope and then I did core exercises. Thank you. Mm. Dan's pizza. No, not today. So what I've been doing, it tastes so good. House blend, about an inch from the top, chocolate mudslide brownie. That is a beautiful combination i don't like real sugary coffee and that doesn't make it sugary it just adds just a touch a touch of chocolate flavor it's so good but that's a special blend they're not going to have that for very long they keep that's the one they just they rotate out with different flavors okay that is nine dollars and ten cents shaky today did you ever do leg press really heavy and then you get shaky afterwards no See you again. Thank you. All right, let's go see if Tino showed up. 904, just pulling into the yard. I'm a little late, four minutes. I worked out a little bit longer than I thought I was going to. Tino's probably sleeping in the cop car. I'm pretty sure Cletus McFarlane would like this car. I should send him a picture. I actually have his number. We've texted back and forth. Morning, Tino. Morning. Were you sleeping? Nah. How long you been here? About an hour. Wow. Well, jump in. We got to go pick up our special guest again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Tino, he texts me and messages me every day. He calls me. I just don't answer. He calls you too? Yeah. Like, he really wants to come in, man. So, it's Friday, and I just felt like today was probably a good day. I'll have it right in there. So if we're running low, we can stock up right away in the morning, boom, 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 and get out of there. Okay. I'm gonna try to cut down on the trips to Home Depot this year. A lot, can a have lot, it here, lot, right? lot. Yeah, I'll have a lot of stuff over here so we don't have to do that. That'll save me a lot of time right there. Cause I pretty much went to Home Depot almost every day. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, he just messaged me again. He said, <laughs> good morning. You? I'm awake and just about ready. Let me know when you're on the way. <laughs> oh, he texts me too. Good morning. <laughs> I'm awake. Oh, he just copied and pasted. He's ready. He messaged me and texts me. There he is. He is. <laughs> He's outside waiting. Man. 
He's one of the happiest people I've ever seen. Yeah, right. <laughs> you, my friend. you my friend. Oh. Morning, What's Junior. Happening? Morning. Hey, do you sound quiet? I'm quiet? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not quiet. I'm ready. <laughs> you better be ready. Oh. All right. Okay. So what have you been up to? Not much. No? Been thinking. I can tell you've been thinking because you've been texting me a lot. Oh, well, yeah. There's a lot of things you want me to buy. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go shopping today, though. Sweet. So the video with you came out this morning. Did you watch it? Oh, yeah. You did? I it. <laughs> did you think that uh, anybody would guess who it was from the thumbnail? Oh, yeah. I fucking <laughs> you. <laughs> I seen the comments. People were like, he didn't even have to burn out the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anybody would guess it was you. I blurred out your whole face. <laughs> We're just pulling in over here. I used to rent this shop. But our neighbor here, he's a really friendly guy named Ken. His gate's open. I don't know if he's here or somebody else. Oh, he does tell you. Oh, he is here. You didn't see him? No, I didn't see him. He's camouflaged, man. Good. How are you? Are you cooking meth in there? <laughs> yeah, he Tell me the truth, Kenny. <laughs> Why? What are you driving? Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? We were going over to storage. I have the storage right here. I seen your gate was open. I thought I'd come and say I hi. I just got here. Yeah. So I find these things on the road. Oh, you're gonna heat it up and try to straighten well, it out? I straighten them out. Oh, okay. You know, you got some stuff here yet, Ryan, you know. I know. What do I got? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, this is my bucket. Can't really see it, but I think it's... Yeah, it's got some cracks down here. Nothing too serious. Yeah, I'll have to come and get this. Oh, I'll bring it over for you when I'm running my crane. I'll throw it in my truck. Cracks here. Crack here. It's still good. I'll use it for salt. If the gate's open, I'll just run up in there and pull it off with a chain or something. Okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. If you give it to this van, then you can have the bucket. Because <laughs> the van will be 50 kilos. Yeah. Could it run it? <laughs> that van will run a lot. That van will run for many more years. You think that van will run for many more years? Well, yeah. What year is that? 79. Oh. It's got a oh, good, man. It's not a 350 trans that 400 r would overdrive. Yeah. And it's mechanical. Ain't no computers or nothing and it oh. works good. Yeah, man. That would take a fortune to restore that. Yeah. It wouldn't take a fortune at all to sit around like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were fire right up that floor. Okay. Oh. All right. See you later. It's good to I talk. Good talking with you. Think about that van. Yeah, I'll keep it in shape for you. I'm serious. A lot of memories in that shop. Man. A lot of memories with your dad in that shop, actually. <laughs> we worked a lot in there. We did a lot of sandblasting, painting, fixing, Break. building. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going? Good, good. Have a good weekend. What did he say? Radical? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a long time. Radical. I think we used to say that like in grade school. Garbage man. Wisconsin disposal. Oh, Nate the Great's here. Oh, wow. That's good. What's going on? Afternoon, right? Afternoon, not yet. Oh, what time is it? I'm not 11? even paying attention. It's like 10 I up, something. I got up too early today. 10.15 10, only. 10.15 only? Yeah. Yeah. Tino. How you doing, man? How you doing? How's it going? Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> yeah. Daryl Jr. The problem is I think I think it's just like a fuse or a relay or something like that. Okay, yeah. Because when you turn the key, it, it, it doesn't even Nothing. click or anything. I'm going to hook up my jumper leads and see if I'm getting 12 volts to the starter when we turn the key. I think what we're going to do first is hang this TV. I bought a bracket yesterday. 
because that bracket that I used for the old one is too small. It doesn't work. So let me grab an impact. Uh, Daryl Jr. is going to drive him crazy. Daryl, let him work. Let him do his work. I know. We have 13 volts sitting on the starter right now. So technically that starter should be cranking right now. It has 13 volts going to it. You really want me to use that level? Uh, that's the one they gave you. What about that one? <laughs> Come on, that's the one they gave you. All right, let's double check it with this one. <laughs> The little one says it's level. Let's see how good it is. Not quite. You know what I'm gonna do for the sign? The sign? Yeah. I don't know where to put the sign. I don't think it's right here. Yeah. I was gonna put it out by the roll, but I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Because the city might complain about That's it. That's so. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Because the inspectors and stuff are gonna come, start coming. What yeah, is this? Well, 90. I didn't have another staff decoration. <laughs> right. You know. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna be falling. You never know this at 90. Man, that's a lot bigger than the other one. That's huge. I'm gonna fold it down. Oh, the plugs, you gotta plug it in first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Come here and pull these. Just pull these so I can un undo it. You gotta plug it all in first. The other one you could plug in down here. This one's like way <laughs> up there. I guess that's it. All right, twist it the other way. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Remote's right here. The remote's right here, Junior. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get the remote out. I don't have any short extension cords. We're gonna have to pick one up, but we'll use this now for testing. Yeah, I'll use this extension cord right now. Hey, hey you're so off. excited, Junior. Try it out. Uh, we are, we're gonna try it out. Yeah. All right, the light went on, so that's a good Oh, thing. yeah. Go to HDMI one. Oh, yeah. It should be, a, it should be in there. This one. Ah, oh, yeah. ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Get We are back in business. This is funny. Got it. I see Nate the Great <laughs> going in his trunk. He's right there. Oh, oh yeah. right there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you got a full spread of them. Oh yeah, you I got see everything. Oh yeah, I can see everything. <laughs> you can't get anywhere around this whole property without being seen multiple times. The almighty watching eye. Yes, yeah, yeah. big brother. Cool. Oh, you can you see the clock and go back to that one. This one? Yeah. You can see traffic all the way back there. Yep, up on Pilgrim. This place is a mess right now. Yeah. It's a mess. You know, I think Ryan had a bad habit of just throwing anything to the Huh? Ryan had a bad habit of just throwing anything away. No. You know why? There's things that I don't need. Yeah. Frank, can I take this metal? Yeah. Huh? Can I take this? You want to take that? I just remember you gave, you gave me a TV. Oh, but yeah, you don't have a stand? Have the, the stand yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, I think well, how big is the TV? Just about like that one. Oh, really? I gave you a TV that big? The one that was in the... Man. By the... You threw it? You was going to throw it away. Hey, where should we hang this? Oh, that kind of looked good on that wall. Here? Yeah. Okay. Definitely right there. I want to hang this in my speed limit sign. For like the uh, case of the water, then the tub packs of soda and stuff. That's what you're thinking about first? Soda? Well, I mean, I was thinking more like. I was thinking more like job site supplies. Well, we did have plenty of room for job site though. Oh. But have a little section for beverages. <laughs> That way you can put more stuff in here. There we go. So I like the can and bottles. There, that looks good, right? Oh yeah, that looks perfect. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. Cool. 
Okay. This place is coming along now. Here. Start dusting. That'll be that'll be a good job for you. All this here too. So Daryl wants me to take him to the car show tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> He wants to go to the car show, so we might go a little later. There's a car show at Wisconsin State Fair, right by his house. Uh, Oak Creek has a remanufactured um, starter in stock, but before I go and grab that, I'm actually gonna drop this starter out and see if there's something wrong on the solenoid itself, see if there's some, yeah. uh, something that's grounding out or see if it's actually bad. Uh, hey, Ryan. Yeah. Now how in the other container you have the office chair? Yeah. Well, you bought a couple of bones for here. Couple office chairs? Yeah. I was just thinking a stool. Well, you walk kind of comfortable when you're sitting over here. How do you like this wood floor in here? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Needs to be washed. But I don't have any water right now. I think I want to hit that bow already. Oh, it's well, dirty. It it's dirty. I got a job for you. Run that whacker over to the other shed. Compactor. Yep. The switch is off, Junior. Oh. Man, you're really rusty. That'll keep them busy for a little while. So that's good. Let me see though. Yeah, those are mine, right? Yep. Yeah. No, I don't need two pairs. Just one. Man, that's confusing why that thing would need a starter. And calls for leads, scheduling appointments. That's going really good. A Sharpie? Uh, why do you need a Sharpie? Uh, I, I need to label something. Okay. Uh, it's not really enough information, but I'll give you a Sharpie okay. anyway. <laughs> spray glue. You already know I'm going to complain about how expensive the spray glue is. Spray glue. We need that. I'm going to get another. A couple file folders in here and whatnot. I'm gonna get another thing of felt too, so we're stocked. I'm gonna get the quarter inch as well. I know you have one, but could you do another one for the salesman? Put a new garbage bag in the garbage. Oh, They're right there, right there. That will keep you yeah. busy for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna get rebar too. I'm gonna to store rebar on that side. We'll have a whole bunch of rebar always ready to go right there. Hammer drill bits. Oh yeah, the, that's that's the one thing we use a lot. We use this size, quarter inch and half inch. Mm -hmm. I gotta order these. Used to be able to get these at yeah at Menards. They don't sell them at Menards any, know, yeah. anymore. You gotta actually order these now. The duplex screws. I think these are pencils. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are like seconds. So like. Some of these are labeled, some are just the paint's messed up, but I bought them off like, I think I bought them off Amazon or something. You can buy seconds, they're super cheap. Yeah, I Super cheap. At least it's not 20 below. Imagine that, snowing I've sideways. Been, <laughs> I, I've been there, a big torpedo heater. <laughs> yeah, I do have a heater, but it's not that cold today. Yeah, I might have found the problem. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna leave you alone because I think I'm distracting you. <laughs> Just let me know. I'll show you what I can come up with at the end. All right. I'm gonna leave Nate the Great alone. The more you bother him, the less work he gets done. <laughs> you know what I mean, Junior? <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot. Oh, you want to push the cart? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go get the spray. I'm gonna get some bits first. We need a bunch of bits. They don't have a lot of these. They don't have a lot of these. I'm gonna have to get some red ones. What are you gonna do? I need what I need. 
one yellow and then the rest red. Dollar star, oh, dollar star, oh. dollar star. <laughs> Everything's expensive, Junior. It's just life. That's life nowadays. Nothing's cheap. Like one of these, just in case we run into situations where we need an oddball. I've never seen that before. Ooh. It's like a universal joint. That's yeah, so it's probably rolled around, so you can get to tight areas. I don't see why not. For a waffle? How many? Just one? Yeah, just one. Right. Don't be looking over here too much anymore. I'm gonna get a drill bit kit for the form truck. Every once in a while, you need a drill bit. I already have that at the shop, Daryl. Couple more. That's gonna be expensive. They're like twenty dollars a piece. So that's hundreds of dollars right there. Grinding this, I don't have many of. Let me see what they got back here. Oh, they got quite a bit. Eighteen dollars a can. Man, what a ripoff. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a couple of these. Cause we, we mainly use that other tape now, but it'll be nice to have some of that. Oh, we need PVC glue. What do we need? PVC glue. All right. Primer. Beautiful. Felt, spray glue. We need caution tape. Should be good for a little while, right? Oh, one more. Let's just get these. These are only 12 bucks. This is 18 bucks. Oh. It's because it has better gearing and then there's a little oh, more body. We don't need that. Well, you don't like them though, do you? No, I don't. I throw that chalk away. They don't. They don't sell it with orange. Uh huh. Orange. That's red. Oh, that's red. Red is even worse than blue. That's all they got was five. I would have bought more. Oh, perfect. Oh. For the salesman. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna cost a lot of money. <laughs> nice little green. I like the green ones. Yeah. They always work. They've been around since like the dinosaurs. Uh -huh. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> you got blades? Huh? Blades? Blades? Yeah, we'll get blades. I might need some pegboard. You know what I mean? The pegboard, yeah, like yeah. this. So, can, uh, so I can put this stuff like. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Good, how are you? You do the mm -hmm. video, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's watching. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I need ear protection, though. Oh, ear protection for that. We got to get this too. More of these. I always have these on the truck. I'm kind of torn on that because I don't even know if the Walt makes vice grips. It should. Come on. I got to look it up. I've never seen them. They have them. I mean, they have all of those. Yeah, they just don't carry them here. I think I'm going to skip the vice grips for now. Maybe I'll just order those. Always looking for straps. That's all I know. Google. Well, they got the Stanleys, the smaller ones. These are, these are a little bigger, aren't they? Yeah. These are pretty nice though. Thirty bucks. Those are fourteen. It's actually a better deal. These are a lot nicer. 
when we go to check out, I'm gonna have you guess how much you think this is gonna cost, you and Tino, and whoever gets closer, it's like the price is right. You get the grand prize. Oh man, what's the grand prize? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh man. Cause it's just one car full. I mean, how much yeah. could this cost? This is nothing, right? <laughs> oh, everybody can guess. Everybody guess how much money's in that cart. Put it down in the comment section and see who's closest. Every time you need a bungee, you can never find a bungee. Two packs? Two packs. Eight bucks. Five. Six. Six bungees. <laughs> Man. Look at that car. Tapcons. Lots of Tapcons. Hey, man, let me know so you can put some more on top. Thank you. That's an 850. You're going $850? Yeah. He said 850. I would guess 12. 1200? Yep. I'm going 2500. Oh, wow. 25? Yep. She's going to be busy with this for a while. <laughs> oh. She turned the light off. Yeah, I know. We got our own lane now. How's it going? Good, how are you? You got a YouTube channel? I do. I'm a fan. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you lost a lot already. Daryl lost too. We were doing prices right. They both lost already. Hey, watch your car declines. Swipe If my car declines, we'll just use your card. You got money. You gotta put everything back. I don't think so. We'll just make her put it all back. <laughs> Did you look at the cow? Yeah, I know. 20% restocking fee. <laughs> no, that's no taxes yet. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure the price is right. I'm getting the car. Yeah. Yeah. 2,442. Oh, we're not done. I got to get plastic, felt, nails. nails. We're not done, Junior. There better be no accumulation. Oh, you got cap. I know. Ah. Caps are falling off. I don't want that to happen. We need those. <laughs> yeah, the weather just changed. Yeah, exactly right, right, just like right. that fast. It just got cold out. Temperature did drop, but it feels way colder than it did a little bit ago. It dropped to 37. It was 43 when we went into Home Depot. So it did drop. Schmidt's ready mix. Look at all the trucks just sitting around. Waiting for us. Yep, they are. They're waiting for all of us contractors to start cranking again. It won't be long. No, it won't be long. Why does it look like the lights aren't even on in there? Does it? Oh, look at this. Dear customer, Schmidt's Ready Mix has decided to limit our supply store office hours to one day a week during the winter season. The supply store will be open on Mondays from seven to three. They're only open Mondays now. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well, the good thing is their competition is right across the street. So I was going to buy. I was going to buy. But not today. Z's Builders. 
They should have all the plastic. I know for sure they have the nails. Give me all your duplex nails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Good. Don't tell me you're starting up. Well, I'm stocking up. Oh, okay. I wouldn't say I'm starting up, but I do need some duplex nails. Okay. So, you got eights? I got eight, yeah. Um, give me three boxes of eights. And then what do you have for plastic? What do you have? Do you have any, like, six or eight foot? I have some. So yeah, you gotta go look. Which you want. Well, let's look. Here's the nails. Oh, sure. Bring that cartino. These nails are heavy, man. Four mil, eight foot, six mil, which is a little thicker. Three. It's the same, right? Yeah. Four, just four and four. Open. Here you go, so. Tino. We'll grab all of them. Grab them all? Yeah, just give me all of them. Is that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine ten? Yeah, ten. How many of those did we get? Did you write that already? Seven, yeah, seven? I got yeah, seven of those. All right, so the price is right again. What do you think, Tino? <laughs> oh, I don't know how much I got. Only got ten of these. Seven of those little teeny plastics and two box, three boxes of nails. That can't be expensive. It's snowing, yeah, it's snowing. Unbelievable the weather changed like that. It is snowing. I was just telling Nate the Great how nice the weather was. I said, oh, at least it's not cold and snowing. And an hour later, it's cold and snowing. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cut the Home Depot trips at least in half. That would save me an enormous amount of time. Oh, Eric's here. He wants his checky. <laughs> How did he even find hey, us? Look who's here. Hey, oh, man. Man. Been here dude. <laughs> I thought you guys would be done with this by oh, now. No, no. We're waiting for the uh, oh, for electric truck right there. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon was lagging. We're done with it already. So what's the next step? He said we got to uh, clean it up, right? Oh, we got to clean really well now in... Uh, yeah, spray the glue and then just put that uh, He's the one inside. that knows, I'm just... You ain't gonna mold a custom fiberglass beaker? No. no he oh, don't. come you know, on, no, man. You know man. how I was to get this out? Out of here? Really he yeah. really bend that thing. Yeah? Like, yeah so he said like, we have to... Speaker, you can't do that. Yeah, he said... If you well, you could. Speaker, you just yeah, have, you to have to build, build it inside. inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it's way too much. You could do it. If it's just could do it, but we don't got more than that time. He texts me so many times, yeah. like he wants to hang out. Like sometimes yeah. I just have to say yes to stop the text. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. I can show you my texts and my messages every day, man. <laughs> Did you guys eat already? No. No. I'm gonna go get something to eat. You guys wanna go somewhere we're or? We're gonna get some... We can go all together since we're already we're here. We're gonna get something to eat too. That's what I just said. Eh? For, for the headline is around two. Where do you wanna go? Wherever you wanna go. Whatever. That, uh, Junior's paying. Oh, he likes that. He <laughs> likes paying, uh, right? Yeah, he's paying. He's paying. He's kind of scared. He's like, no. We could go over by Odyssey. Over. Yeah, I'm going to go to Odyssey because yeah, yeah. he actually likes some of the food there. Okay. Which is lunchables? hard to find. Oh, hey, yeah, lunchables. 1200 bucks more <laughs> for the plastic and the nails. Yep. So, it's a lot of money now, but. Stuff I don't have to buy later. I don't have to worry about getting getting it. Right. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of PVC plastic pipe. So we always have that. All the downspout connections, the elbows. Oh yeah. That's one of the main things I run for a lot. <laughs> you gonna fix this? Oh, that's really expensive right now. Look at this. Remember? Oh, oh Eric. man, this, your this, trucks are No, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was when, when it was really cold, remember? When we yeah. were snow? I went like this. To try to like and open. it just broke right off. Like this. Like wow. Oh. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? You guys are a little busy right now. 
Skur. Skur, good. Royal salmon. Thank you. I'm just gonna get my steak and eggs. Yeah, I've never seen this many people in the restaurant at one time. What are you getting, Junior? I didn't go with the patty melts. Patty melts are really good. I love patty melts. My wife really loves patty melts. It's probably her favorite sandwich. When I used to be a cook, they used to sell like crazy. Dude, they're so good with the onions. Oh. Rubens have the corned beef and they have the Swiss oh, yeah, yeah, cheese yeah, 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 yeah. and the Ruben, and the Ruben. Thousand Island dressing. Yeah, yeah. Those are really good too. Yeah. Rubens are so good. Yeah, My steak and eggs is so good. The PVC pipes, all the connections, all the stuff I'm always running to Home Depot for every single morning of my life. I'm serious. That saves time off. Yeah. Plus, I'm going to have the porta potty right there. Oh, I'm getting a porta potty for sure. Come in here. Oh, man. Look at, look at Ryan and Autumn. Pontius Pilate and his wife. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look cool. Yeah, they're doing a play. Well, they're videoing it. Oh, okay. Ryan just doesn't look mean enough, though. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't look mean enough to be Pontius Pilate. All right, let's go. We gotta go put all that stuff away. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thanks. Sometimes Junior takes a really long time in the bathroom. This is my friend from Madison, Wisconsin. His name is Aaron. He owns a business, does similar work to what we do, but he's got something called Crete Quote. And uh, basically they can attach it or add it as a feature on your existing website. And it, it helps to uh, filter out leads. It's, a, it's good, man. I just, I just have never pulled the trigger on it yet. Wow, you can check that out. Creek Colt. Specifically designed for concrete guys, concrete contractors. All ready? Yes, sir. Okay. We didn't know where you went. <laughs> we thought we lost you. Poop -pity -doop -pity. Just pulling back into the yard. It's two o'clock. It's down to 30 degrees. Nate the Great is still here. So he's probably freezing right now. <laughs> Oh man. It's getting cold out here. Yeah, remember when I said at least it's not cold? <laughs> you think yeah, that you think this is it? Murphy's law I heard yeah. Well, so it's a maybe maybe combination of both. I'm replacing this just because these go out all the time. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's 35 bucks yeah. to replace it and that can save you a starter. Yeah. I will show you what happened. Starter actually shorted out it did onto the block it did yeah i took a picture of it yeah this morning i was like at least it's not cold and snowing and <laughs> yeah <laughs> and now this came in later today <laughs> so there that's where the top of the starter is to yeah. the solenoid oh look at that and you can see boom right there I it grounded out that. right to the side of the block i like freightliner they made it easy to get was to the top one. Oh, that's good too bad so i was able to get it out went up to mj's Whoa, and that got is good a new solenoid and then this is called the firewall solenoid all so right both of them are being replaced yeah um that one just for good measures and, that's good uh, man should fire up after this all right you don't have any wire connectors nah i don't have anything here it's all at the winter shop do you want me to run for you yeah i need a little terminals terminal basically to go on here you know or a ring terminal yeah this i'll show you what size wire so this one i need it that right there you can see this one broke right. so i need one just like that so all right i'll be right back i don't want to have you like have to waste your time you want a heat shrink or just a regular plastic if you can get one that has a heat shrink that's best okay yeah. just getting out here at the hardware store look oh. at my seats split <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a fan of the the perforated leather like that. It just seems like it would weaken it. Han Ace, back at my favorite hardware store. I just need to grab a couple ring terminals, I guess, and that's it. We're just pulling back in. 
I was thinking I got that victory sign. I think we'll just screw it to the shed right there. That'll look cool. You know? Yeah. It's better than having it folded up in the back of my truck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do it today, though. Should work, right? Perfect. Yes. This will work. All right. Oh, you got the torch. I was hoping you had a yep. torch. So I think I have one here, but I wasn't positive. We're just going to take all this stuff off, and then uh, we're going to leave and right basically right across the street from junior's house is wisconsin state fairgrounds they have a, the auto show and uh we'll go walk around there for maybe an hour i'm not going to spend a lot of time there but. See, that's why I have you around. You're the brains of the operation. All right. Nate the Great, got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Flew right when my hands were starting to get numb. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. Well, now I can get it to the shop where it's warm for you, yeah. though. Yeah, and out of the wind. Yeah. Exactly. Dealing with the weather. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Nate the Great's the man. There's not a lot of guys that would like to work out in the cold like that and not complain at all about it. Oh, we can't have this, Junior. No, sir. What's in there? These are all the builders. Well, this doesn't go. This, this doesn't actually belong here. I mean, we could do pegboard right here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What do you think about pegboard right here? Oh, that's pretty cool. With the little thing sticking out, we can hang all the knives and stuff. Oh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Because I don't know where else to do it. Make sure right. I get a metal pegboard. I got one of them cardboard pegboard. Oh, whatever. the junk ones? Yeah, and I put my hammers on there. Yeah. And just rip right through. <laughs> <laughs> Sea glue, nails, uh, pencils. I don't have to go to the office supply store. Why? To put a few office supplies. Oh. What about this? For pens. There we go. For now, temporary. All right. Temporary. Yeah. Well, you can open this and put them in there if you want. All right. And it open a little bit of wood. Yeah. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. Do you think, uh, when do you think you'd be able to work in the shop? I'm thinking uh, at the end of next week, as soon okay. as availability. All right, so well, you know, put me in there for sure, like okay. for sure. Why don't, we, why don't we take this stuff out and put all the razor knives in here? Razor knives? Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to. I love concrete. <laughs> I should sell, sell these stickers on my website. I bet people would buy them. Because there's a lot of people that love concrete. Yeah. I'll get pegboard and we'll hang all this stuff up. That'll be really nice. All right, Junior, you ready to go? You ready to go? Yep. Okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm gonna drop Tino off and then uh, go to the car show for just a little while with Junior and then take him home and call it a day. Yeah, I am not liking this traffic and I'm not liking this snow actually like it's snowing hard enough right now to accumulate if it keeps up hopefully not all right see you tino thank you boss. Healing, all right buddy. adios Come me whenever you need me i will thanks for your help yep. hi junior see you later, hey, tino. Hey, here we go wisconsin state fair world of wheels i've never been to this i haven't been to a car show in a very long time Thank you. No problem. It's not nice out, is it? No. <laughs> Winter's back. 
I have a feeling we're going to be off something after this. I hope not. Thank you. How was the last one with you? Yeah. Uh, I was here last year. At the World of Wheels? Yeah. Really? Oh, you like it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, I hate to go out one, but also it didn't work. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. To have some really cool stuff. Look at that. What is that? Five generations of Batmobiles. So it just opened, literally just opened. So there's hardly anybody here right now, but it's gonna pick up a lot. Man, I love cars. What do you think? It's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. That thing is beautiful. 55 Chevy Bel Air, 383 Stroker. I think it's NA, I can't see. <laughs> yep, no boost. Imagine the time that it must take to restore this to perfect again. Oh, ages. Nineteen fifty eight Willie's pickup. Man, that's so beautiful. Sorry, here. It's probably his truck. It's his oh. truck. He probably started working on his truck when he was about sixteen. Oh and now look at him. <laughs> How's it going? Well, this guy knows you. <laughs> he sat in my other car. Really? So did your daughter, my 73 Duster. You got a 73 Duster too? Yeah, when we were at uh, the Eagle thing. Oh, you were there? Yeah, I got pictures of that. Oh, really? He was at Eagle uh, no at the way. meetup, yeah. Oh, uh, no way. Yeah. I was stuck at the booth. I didn't get to walk around at all. This is a, six, or a 71 Dart. 71 Dart. Is this one of yours? Really? I'm an electrician, but it's nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Yeah. This is awesome, man. Thank you. It's not a word. So, how do you be even begin with this? Do you have like well, a? This is what I bought. So you bought the body? Yeah. No parts, no nothing. You just bought the body? Yeah. That seems like a months. lot of work. I didn't paint it. I wasn't gonna even paint it, but when I got into it. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. It came from a high end restoration shop. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm buying something really good. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this car. You get some time reading through this. The guy did an article about me. On oh, it. that's cool. But it's. Yeah. I, yeah. I wanted to talk to you at the meetup, but it was like there was no way in. It was too busy. Yeah. Well, great to meet you. You too. Thank Beautiful you. car, too. Have a great evening you too, and a good man. weekend. Hi, are you giving these away? We are. All right. I found your Lamborghini. Can I have two? That's fine. It's two of us. It's for your dad. <laughs> oh, man. All from cash? Yeah, from cash. You we'll probably spend a lot of time doing that, huh? All day. Yeah. When I get done, I gotta go to the Yeah. <laughs> Hey, serious question. Do you take some time for the cash right now? <laughs> on the spot? <laughs> yeah. What, for the... Now, you said not today. <laughs> That's my line. Not today. Nice car, man. Thank you. Hey. This will be Tino Drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric or Tino. <laughs> man, it's a 6-4. <laughs> this is Eric's car. Don't wait for this thing. <laughs> oh, I think you would look good in this one. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, if Francisco saw this truck right here, he would fall over dead. Oh, uh, he probably would. 64 Chevy C10. He 
That is gorgeous. So, how's it going? I gotta send this one to Francisco too. Whipple supercharger. That's a nice Shelby. I like it. I like it. It's a 1941 Willys Coupe with a 502. Dodge Charger 1968. That is gorgeous. My goodness. This is a beautiful car, man. Oh. Is that a Hellcat motor? Elephant. What does that mean? So the Hellephant, the Hellephant's a uh, 426 Hemi. Okay. With a three liter, with three liter supercharger on it. Okay. So it makes a thousand horse, 950 at four. Less than a hundred of these. Yeah. It's a great motor from from Dodge. Really. Um, Man. They uh, they announced them in 2020, I think it was. And then they um, sold out right away. 2019, yeah. They, 2019, they announced it, and then they sold out in the weekend. When they announced they were making the elephant, I, I wanted to get one. Yeah. And Then I, he needed I a car to fit it in. Correct. Gotcha. And I wasn't going to build a car unless I could get the engine. The world we live in, I found the car on eBay. Yeah? And it was, it was actually down in Illinois. And um, uh, a guy had bought it. He was a pharmacist. Yeah. And his buddies had a... A used car lot and they said and they went to an auction they said buy this and we'll work on it and they never did of course yeah and then he sold it to me it's just a rolling chassis nothing in it and the bones were pretty good on it and so then that's how it all started and then we just went from there so like well you went crazy from there yeah, so yeah. It's, it's riding on a full art morrison chassis um the wheels are all one off they're um they're made by evad out in california um the black chrome was done out in utah Ogden. the dash panel the console the, the door panels those are all 3d printed dakota digital made us a boost gauge for it so we've got one boost gauge and the other four here plus this that's cool so, man that's an awesome car thanks thanks for sharing man yeah thank you thanks that thing asking. is sweet enjoy the show that's my favorite car so far yeah oh yeah 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 it sure is ford f100 1955 Dude, these cars are so beautiful. Five generations of Batmobiles. Imagine driving that to work on the freeway. You get a lot of looks if you drove that around. Now you got the old school Batman cars. Old school Batmobiles. 1966. And then 1992. I really like car shows. Huh? Yeah. I, I really like car shows. <laughs> yeah. It's, which is kind of stupid. You're just looking. It just seems dumb, but like you appreciate the amount of time and effort that people put into these vehicles. Like, man. To get them into the condition they're in. I look at this thing. 77 Dodge Charger. Look at this thing. I gotta get pictures. Oh, you're like a little kid of the cable store. I, I'm telling you what. Let's see what this is. A 56 Buick. Are you laughing at me? Well, I like shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't look at them all. We don't have time. Methanol 427 twin turbos, twin 88. Man, this thing's got a scream. It's a stick shift drag car. I'm pretty sure that would be really scary to drive that one. Right? <laughs> Big 
These are all drag cars. Yeah, you don't see it because it's bad. How's it going? Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, victory. Yeah, victory, yes. Yeah, I've been watching you for a couple months now. Only a couple months? Yeah, only a couple months. All right, well, thank you. Actually, I'm steady on it. I'm steady on it. This morning. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm on my Facebook all the time. Oh, cool. Stop rushing us, Daryl. <laughs> you got to take in all the beauty. <laughs> you got to take it all in. 1970 Nova. Big turbo in the front. 106 millimeter turbo. What is it? Yeah, the Screaming Cheeto. It's just it's the Screaming Cheeto. <laughs> Oh, there's no way we could drive that one. No way. Not a chance. Hey, Not a chance. Eric. Hey. Yeah, Eric could drive this one. Yeah. He would crash right away. Yeah, he probably would. 1961 Brookwood. Custom wagon. Yeah, Bug would definitely like this car. 71 El Camino. You need something to drink? Oh, well, sure. It's a little warm in here. A little warm. It's better than outside, though. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great evening, guys. RC drift car. Oh, he's pretty good. He put that thing right against the wall. Yeah, and then we'll just figure five o'clock my house. I want somebody to take me drifting so bad. Oh, man. I don't want to drive. I just want to sit in the passenger seat. Yeah. <laughs> I watch you guys all the time on Facebook. Well, really? thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. We're just, we were trying to look for a car for Daryl. <laughs> yeah, all right. So. Dude, how big is that front tire? <laughs> how do you like the size of that front tire? That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's bigger than the Mac. Right? It really is. <laughs> it's 2001 Heritage Soft Tail. Like 34 inch. 34 inch rim. Custom. Oh. You know who I could imagine riding this down the road? Oh. Big Ray. Oh, definitely. Big Ray. He'd be on the freeway, the beard would be split wide open. <laughs> That looks pretty cool, man. That thing looks comfortable, too. That's beautiful. It's good to meet you guys. Yeah, good to meet you, man. <laughs> He's just taking care of all his business on his phone, so... Yeah, yeah. Sound exactly the same like you do on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's like Eric's dream right here. Taking a lot of pictures, man. Mm -hmm. I haven't been anywhere taking this many pictures for a long time. Mm -hmm. Check out this color right here. That's, Red and gold. that's pretty beautiful. <laughs> We're almost done, Junior. They have a lot of low riders here. This whole section. Man, look at that. Look at the pumps. All chrome plumbing, custom engraved pump casings. Man, so much money. So much money. You would look good in this one. <laughs> With the top down <laughs> on a hot summer day. That would be great. Yeah. That's a 661. <laughs> Francisco would be so jealous if he saw he that. Would. Look at that box. Those are all 12s. I bet he got the plexiglass. Six 12s. 
six twelves in the back. Oh man. And the box is open to the cab. Francisco would like that. <laughs> he would. It's called the Hitman. Let's see what it is. It's a 1969 Camaro. Man, that is gorgeous. That paint is. <laughs> that paint is something else. I it was easy to go for the car when. 1970 Barracuda. I am quite certain my mom owned a Barracuda. I have to ask her, but I am almost sure she has mentioned that. I mean, I don't think it was quite like this, but she had a Barracuda. Look at Evil Knievel. Let's check that out. He was kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he was nuts. He had to be nuts to do some of the stuff he tried. They're like, yeah, just, just, Go in that rocket, it'll be fine. All right, we just gotta look at my car and then we're gonna go. You're gonna be over there? Yeah. All right, I'll be right there. 61 Ford Falcon. This thing is gorgeous too, man. Look at this car. Stick shift. You just run out of stuff to say after a while, like, it's so gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's awesome. But there's just nothing left to say about these cars. Just look. Just one more peek at this Charger. And then we're gonna go. What do you guys think this car is worth? All restored like this? with the elephant I mean it's literally mint it's perfect this snow is coming down <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas Daryl <laughs> <laughs> your hair is already white and we just came outside <laughs> started out as a gorgeous morning. Whew. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna have to call the guys and let them know they're gonna be going salting tonight. <laughs> yep. Awesome. All right, see you later. Bye. Adios. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> salt. All right, so that's a Friday. Got a little bit of work done, so it was cool. To, uh, the form truck is running again. We can get that into the shop. Nate's gonna work on that at the end of next week. I think I'm gonna start working on my taxes next week, but I don't know, whenever it is, I'll see you on the next one. Adios.